much does that job posting you've had your eye on actually pay? Well, guess what? We're all about to find out. The Ford government says it will soon table legislation here at Queen's Park to force Ontario businesses to be more transparent about salaries. You go through all the hoops, the, the never-ending steps to get a, get a job just to find out at the end that it's nowhere near the range that you were hoping for. The Ford government is looking to change that. Labor Minister David Pacini says new legislation would force Ontario companies to disclose the salary range for jobs when posting new positions. When these pay remains a secret, businesses are the only ones that benefit. What's to stop a business, though, from putting a, a broad salary range, 20000 to one k or something like that? Regulations is what would stop them. So I look forward to the consultations and to sort of this going through committee, the committee process and the legislature to really put some guardrails on this. The minister says he also thinks the move could help close the gender pay gap. Women still earn on average 87 cents for every dollar men earn. The proposal is finding some support across the aisle. Though Jill Andrew with the NDP says she wished the government acted sooner. This government's announcement today is a small step in the right direction. But as you know, and as we all know, especially the women of Ontario, I know that the Ford government lagged, frankly, for the last five years um, on bringing pay transparency to the floor. It's not just salary. The same bill would require businesses to disclose if artificial intelligence is being used in the hiring process. What do I do with that information, though? Well, again, this is a starting point, and what we do beyond that um, is what workers, you know, if they want to see more, we can absolutely do more. But Cheney also announced the province is considering banning the use of non-disclosure agreements in cases of workplace sexual harassment, misconduct, or violence. I've got a very clear message to the creeps and the perpetrators who do that. Time's up, and uh, we, we are, are not going to be uh, allowing this to be used to, to silence victims who want their stories to be heard. Now, the legislature is not in session this week. It is constituency week, but uh, the government says it will table the bill with all of these workplace changes when MPPs resume the sitting next Tuesday.